Hello guys and welcome back to the finally the second part of the blue lock game. I know it's been a long time, like a really 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 long time. And it's been so long time that I don't have the file anymore. So I just copied over what I think that you guys have. Ignore the script inside here. But you should have the ball handle handler, which looks like this. So make sure you have exactly this setup here. So the football, uh, which is just a football mesh that I found in the toolbox. Inside the push football, a attachment with an angular and a linear velocity. Just with those forces. And in the ball handler, it should look like this. So make sure you have all this done. And get them a string value named last touch. And then remotes folder with gribble ball and shoot ball and a in, like a local script named ball instead of player scripts, which looks like this. So just make sure you have it like this. So, first of all, we have to get the shoot animation. So let me place a dummy. So, regular, R6, block avatar. And let me load the animation. So this is my shoot animation. And yeah, so it looks like this. And I named the keyframe shoot. So what you want to do is you want to create your animation, then right click a keyframe and you want to rename keyframe and you want to rename this keyframe to, to shoot. Because this is when it's shooting the ball. Like just rename one keyframe shoot and you should be all right. And then just put those animations here. So just make, so make sure you have all this done because this is also here named shoot. So you want to have a keyframe named shoot so and i think we didn't do this so make sure you get those two things too let me zoom in a bit so you can copy this better so make sure you got those two things set up and yeah right now it should work like this let me say on survey events Let me see, ball handler, script, football. Oh, I see. Okay, this is just the script that I have in here. Just ignore it for now. I'm just going to disable it. But yeah, so this is going to be what you should have as of right now. And when we run, the ball comes with us. You can. Dribble it. We are on the set range of the ball. Yeah, so this is what we did in the first episode of the game series. So now what you want to do is you want to cut the shooting. So let's go into our ball handler and let's go right below the dribble event. Let's call the shoot event. So shoot event dot on server events call the connect function call the player and the hold time. And we get the local character, so we can just copy all this. And then if distance to ball is less or equal to dribble radius, dribble radius. Then you want to do local clamp hold time is equal to math dot clamp the hold time zero and the max hold time. Then the local shoot force is equal to math dot clamp. Then we want to do the clamp hold time, 
divided by the max all time. And this should be the max shoot force. Which will have up here. So make sure you also got this. The max shoot force. The min shoot force. And the max shoot force. Then the local look vector, which we can just copy here. So we get the look vector, the direction, and then let's get the local up vector. Which is equal to human group part dot c frame dot up vector, and then local upwards component. So you can put vector three dot new. We put just zero comma zero comma zero in there. And then what we want to do is if up vector dot y is greater than math dot sim, and then we do in here we do math math dot rats, and then we do one twenty. Then upward components. Let's see if we vector three dot new and then we do zero comma shoot force times up vector dot y times zero point five comma zero and then we want to do local new velocity is equal to direction times shoot force and this is going to be plus the upward component and then the ball linear velocity dot vector velocity is equal to new velocity and ball linear velocity dot max force is equal to 100,000 and we also want to reset the ball velocity to pass something no and yeah then we want to do ball set network owner to the player and then we want to is shot is equal to true and then apply gravity pretty much this So yeah, this is the shooting functionality. And let's go play and try this out. So let me go here and press and when we hold our left mouse key and need a ball and let go, it shoots the ball in a nice angle. where we look can hold this for longer near 150 is i think a bit too less of a of something so let's get to plus 220 and let's see so when we dribble we hold the ball flies good so can no run with the ball and shoot the ball pretty good so we can also do small taps Can we all fix the ball spinning soon? But yeah, for now, this is pretty good. We also can change the friction a bit. So the friction, let's do like 0 0.6. And then the ball won't stop. Okay, no, we have to make it higher. So, friction 999. 
and then should make the impact. So the ball goes for longer. We shoot the ball. It also rolls for longer. So we have to find a good value here. So if he wants to do to reach into like nine and five somewhere around those lines yeah i think this is good so we shoot the ball and yeah so can now walk with the ball and shoot the ball Nice. So I think this is it for the second episode. And yeah, so in the next episode, we are going to get to like the rolling system, like rolling flows and stuff. And yeah, thank you all for watching and see you in the next video. Peace.